Good morning. Cheers. Everybody say hi. Hey. So this is what it looks like when we are about to get out of town. Stuff is everywhere. We actually already packed a lot of stuff, so it doesn't look as crazy. Um, but yeah, stuff is everywhere. It's only seven o'clock. Nothing really opens until eight. So we're kind of just like, not sure what we're going to do. Um, but we are going to hike again today. Yay. Hopefully She's got rain. new shoes, new, sh new boots goofing. Hopefully. <laughs> oh, she got it. Yay. Hopefully it doesn't rain because my tent's not waterproof right now. All right. We didn't see the seal the tent. So yeah. And then we're hoping that uh, plus one right there is gonna get some normal people food because he likes to just survive on chocolate powder milk and what? Like Potato chips? Potato chips. That's it. So we're gonna make sure that he's gonna eat because I don't know how he's doing it. And then this guy right here has got his coffee. Cheers. Chilling. Got his coffee. Gotta, gotta, gotta get that coffee. Bum, bum, bum. Fireball. Dun, 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 <laughs> PCT breakfast. PCT breakfast for plus one. He said where he's from, it's like dairy is a big deal. They got the best dairy cows. So. It is. It's a big thing in the market. In case somebody good protein didn't, that has everything. In case somebody didn't watch Little Chap's interview, where are you from? <laughs> I'm from Denmark. Denmark. So in Denmark, people do a lot of milk. We do. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> we do. So today is Tuesday. And to those that are not familiar with how Hiker Life works, almost everything is closed on Tuesdays in many towns. And it happens to be a lot of stuff is closed here today. So I've been waiting to get some coffee with real cream. And I saw, oh, there's a vegan store. And I'm like, darn it. The vegan store probably doesn't have any cream. So it's this way, plus one. Um, but I'm still gonna see if they have cream. Cause you know, I mean like, I don't know, it's a vegan store. It'll probably be like an insult, but I'll still get a Cinnabon or something like that. Looks like they closed, but there is a gas station. So I'm gonna have to see if they have coffee with cream. Got some coffee and a banana nut muffin. I like those. I really love cinnamon rolls. And I thought this vegan place was gonna have one, but they're not open. I guess they just have like selective hours or elective hours, or I don't know how that works. Like whenever I want hours. <laughs> and uh, I found Fireball again. She ran that into a really bush just a now. Bush. <laughs> I want to see if I can find Whitney. Let's have a look. Is she here? No. Is she there? No. She's right there. I'm just standing there. <laughs> hey, Mr. Kitty. Nobody's coming. <laughs> dance, 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 dance. I'm so proud of my sign. <laughs> so that's a good sign. So Fireball and Plus One got picked up, and now it's our turn! It's been 20 minutes, nobody's picked us up. I'm almost gonna take my hair down and have it flying in the sky <laughs> to see if that works. Okay, we finally got a hitch. Wee Not a primary. The name of the guy that I dropped off, his name was, well, completely snowpacked, but then you want to get up northern... Okay, we're back, connecting on footsteps. There's water caches here. And some chairs. Ooh, some oranges. Nice. Oh, wow, look at me. I always am a mess. All right, so it is 9.15. We're back on trail. So today is interesting, why? because we will not have any water. Oh, well, really, we don't have any water until the next town, which is Ranchita something, which is 24 miles from here. 
but there is supposedly water cache 14 miles from here. And that's really the only water that is available for the hikers. So probably some people, they do the whole 24 miles. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna try to just hike 14-ish, 15-ish today, and then hike about nine miles into Ranchita. I hope I say that right. So it'll be a hot day with not any water sources. So very, very interesting and so different from the AT for sure. But look at these here mountains right there. And I look at these here mountains all right there. That's where we came from. Also today we're sporting our shorts. Yes. Boom. Boom. Road crossing. Meep meep. And up, up we go. Before I'm gonna do a lot of ascending, because we have a little bit of a climb. I just wanted to, what do I wanna talk about? Oh, so I think it's kind of neat that you guys get to see like the development of a trail name. As you know, Whitney has kind of changed her trail names back and forth. Well, not really back and forth, she's just changed it. It was Whitney. Then somebody suggested tea bag, as in like an actual tea bag, not the slang version. But we thought it was funny because it kind of works for that, but she didn't really feel that. And then we called her dispatch because of her do all, doing all the 911 calling for the rescue we did. Um, and then now it's Fireball, and that seems to match her. She said she liked dispatch, but she didn't feel it fit her too well. So normally that's how trail names work. Like you get a suggestion and then you either accept it or you realize, oh, that doesn't really fit me. So that's really how it works. It doesn't really work normally. Like when I got my trail name, somebody said Roadrunner and I was like, I love that and I'll just stick with it. Normally it's more of a process. So you get to really see how, how that works. Also, uh, Fireball and Plus One, they're ahead of us. They're probably like 45 minutes ahead of us because they got a hitch before us. And we all kind of talked about like how, you know, we already talked about how everybody has to hike a little bit differently and whether this tramway is gonna dissolve, you know, just because uh, Fireball hasn't done this. And so for her, she's like, oh, I need to slow down a little bit. And we're like, okay. And that's either slowing down with pace or with the mileage. So we are still gonna go to the same spot today. Um, and she is gonna try to hike at a different pace than what we do. Chap also said he needs to hike a little bit slower. And then I don't know, plus one is kind of like easy going. He just does whatever. Um, so you'll get to see how we're probably all gonna hike a little bit, not together and maybe take lunch at different times, but maybe not, maybe we'll meet each other at lunch. But that's kind of how that works because if you hike at the speed of another person, it's not enjoyable. It you know, makes you tired, whether it's slower or faster. I know that when I try to keep a slower pace going upward with another person, it actually makes me more tired than having my actual speed. So yeah, anywho, some hikers ahead of me. Another example of the trail is, I don't know if you see, there's a hiker right there. On the AT, you would just go boop boop. But the PCT is gonna do this wee wee. A little overlook. Pretty. And then we go this way. Somebody said it's 33 switchbacks.
I see fireball and plus one. All right there, that's fireball. And that's plus one. I'm gonna try this. It's a different app that'll record me, my face. Why? <laughs> ah, that's a snake. Ooh, snake. Ah! I was not able to get a picture or another video because the snake was just as scared of me as I was of it. All oh, right. Look, I found him. <laughs> taking his thumbnail. Thumbnail taken. You know, it's so easy to make the wrong decision. I know that it's only about two, two and a half more miles till lunchtime, and I wanted to push it. To that moment to eat something but i started feeling like not light-handed but you know you know your body so i was like okay gotta put some electrolytes in my water and eat something and it definitely made me feel much better and so it is easy just to be like oh i'll eat in two miles right but that's another hour away in this here crazy sun um so if you just feel a little bit uneasy, like there's something not normal in your body, you gotta take care of it right away. Okay, 8.7 miles into our hike, gonna take a lunch break now, trying to find a shady spot. There's like a little bit of shade right there in this tree right there, and there's a pipe gate right there. So this shall be a lunch, 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 lunch. Cap, what are you doing for lunch? I've got everything bagels, uh -huh. some Colby Jack cheese, and some salami. I was actually really looking forward to this this meal. Yeah, me too. And I have almost the same uh, sharp cheddar cheese, some spam on an everything bagel. I also have an avocado, an avocado right there, and then my favorite like chips or salty snacks. These twisty barbecue thingos, thingos, thingies. And we have this beautiful view, which Chap just said, this is better than sitting um, at a desk behind a computer or in front of a computer. How is that colloq- Is it in front of or behind a computer? I think either would work. All right. This right here is hiker heaven. Mm. Oh. The bacon. If you could get your life together long enough to make some YouTube videos, you'd be like the queen of the PCT this year. <laughs> oh my gosh, what are you doing? I'm trying to get shade. It's still working, that umbrella. It's She's really rolling around in the poodle dog bush. <laughs> <laughs> this is why people, umbrellas are very difficult to deal with. Everybody's like, bring an umbrella. No, How much? don't. No, why not? Tell the people. It's hard because. to use, like, and then you strap it to yourself, and then you can't see because it's a huge umbrella, and yeah. I'm like, literally can see like just my feet, and yeah. I'm constantly like smashing into things and like can't yeah. see nothing. What do you say about that, Jiffy Pop? <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, we have about 5.2 to the water spot. So there's apparently a water cache or a water cistern and the cistern is 0.3 off trail. So hopefully there'll be some water at the cache, but we'll still be walking for that water. Doesn't matter where it is, we'll get to it. I am not sure my sun lotion is working because as soon as I put it on my legs, my, my legs are red. So it's almost like the sun lotion was attracting the sun. But anyway, I'll just keep putting it on and then when I get to town, I'm trying to find something better, something different. We're about one mile, I'm about one mile from the supposed water cache. Today has been tough because I've been literally in the sun the entire time. Barely any shade, there was just a little shade during lunch. But, ooh, it definitely does your body something unique being in the sun. I will have some massive sunburn on my legs even though I put lotion on it. So, wow. It's definitely not easy. The actual walking is easy. Like the grade is so easy. We've literally, I will have walked 15 miles within about five hours and 15 minutes. Something like that, maybe five hours, uh, five and a half hours. 15 miles over five and a half hours. However, I can't imagine hiking the AT with this on. So the AT, even though it's so much more difficult when it comes to the grade and the incline and the decline, this sun right here, right there, right there, like over there. I can't imagine, that's why they do these switchbacks because if they didn't have the switchbacks, you would just die. I mean, I know people already do die doing this, but if it was straight up, you'd be dead. Oh my gosh. It's definitely not an easy hike. PCT this way, water this way. Excellent. First, a little rest. That was a harsh, harsh hike. And the water cache was like 0.3 downhill, so gotta get water and go back up. But there's campsites all over, so I'm just gonna wait for Chap and see where we're gonna camp. Water. Boom. Use last. Three liters max. Place empty bottles in here. Donations. Look who's here. Chap Chap. Aloha. <laughs> How was the hike so far? Today? Yeah. It was hotter than it has been, but the high was only 66. It feels like it's like 106. Mm -hmm. Um but it went pretty quick. We did 15 miles in six and a half hours with an hour lunch break. So and it's only four o'clock. Yeah. So all in all, it's not bad. Um, the sun's intense. That's what I was saying today. Like it's an easy hike, but the sun <sighs> is no joke. Okay, now we're gonna get out of this blue blaze and find a camping spot. Um, while I'm so thankful that this water cache is here, so, so, so thankful, 
the hike down it was so tiring. Now we're gonna go back up, but Chap said probably back up is gonna seem less far, so I hope he's right. So we decided, we found, um, I have a lot of English, we found Fireball and Plus One and they're going to the water cache now. And funny enough, because we had already talked about going a little bit more, but then we were like, no, we should camp because that's what we agreed to. But Fireball said, would you like to go more? And we're like, absolutely. So we're gonna go around two more miles and then start looking for a spot for four tents. So I have to make a correction. When I was at the water cache, we only had hiked 14 miles, not 15. Only, it's not like it's only, but you know, I like to make sure that I keep my numbers straight. So we're pretty much just at 15 now. And then in about a mile, we'll start looking for some campsites. That is a view. That's with, now I'm gonna zoom in. Another one of these here gates right there. The snake. Right there. Right here. Oh. What is that? <laughs> We've got our spots. We are gonna try. What are we gonna try, Chap Chap? Cowboy camping. We're gonna try cowboy camping today. Do we know how cold it's supposed to be? I think it's like gonna be 40. Okay, not too so bad. For Julie and I thought it would think it was 40. Cool. Yeah. Somewhat set up. I'm kind of excited and nervous because I've never cowboy camped. But we said that if we hate it, at least we've done it one time and we know. Um, and if we love it, then Sierra, here we go. 